a scary situation because you don't know what people are going to do nowadays. But now that mother is feeling some relief, schools in one community are off a soft lockdown after locking their doors and staying inside most of the afternoon. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McLeod Higgeman. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. State police and the Iroquois County Sheriff's Department are still working to locate a person of interest in Gilman. It's what prompted that soft lockdown. Police say Joel Smith was last seen running northeast from the Gilman train station toward Route 24. WC93's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom. Amanda, you were in Gilman today. What did parents tell you? Yes, and she says her youngest daughter's school called her. That's Head Start School in Gilman. Her oldest daughter texted her saying she was okay. The high school posted the soft lockdown announcement on Facebook around 1.30. I talked to Superintendent Angelo Lekas. He says they emailed parents as well. He added that there was no threat to the schools and the decision was made out of an abundance of caution. He says teaching continued inside and they locked their doors to visitors. One mom I talked to says she was at work and her family was texting throughout the whole thing. We have to leave. So me and her left work at 1 o'clock and then we raced over here and I thought I'd be able to get the girls from school. But Mr. Diaz called and said that we couldn't pick them up right now until they got the all clear. She also added that her daughter is the school's drum major with the band. There's a homecoming parade tonight in town and she says it's set to go on. Another Facebook post from the high school says there are no changes to regular after school activities. Now I did reach out to Illinois State Police and the Iroquois County Sheriff for more information. There's no update at this time. They're asking anyone with information to call 911. As we learn more, we will keep you posted on our website, WCIA.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, keep us posted. Thank you.